Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Fatima and today's video is another Shein haul. My family and I are going on a trip. When I tell you guys, I literally ran to Shein and bought so many things and I was about to start packing but I was like, wait, let me film a haul. I'm kind of in a time crunch at this point and I really need to start packing. So I didn't steam some of the items but trust me, if you do, they'll look a lot better than what they look like right now I'm just kind of like filming really quickly and if you've been watching me for a while you'll notice that there's a different setup today some of you guys said that you would prefer that I would wear the items and talk about them so that's what we're doing today and this is the only place that I can set my camera in my room to where you can see the full outfit so it's not that aesthetically pleasing but it'll do it's fine make sure to check the description box down below for all the links as well as the sizes that I picked the items in. For reference, I am 5'3". I used to think I was 5'4", but I'm not. I'm 5'3", okay? Also, make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll have it here somewhere so that you guys can see the travel content as well as pictures and videos of how the outfits turn out. The first item that I picked up is this lavender top. I absolutely love the color of this. It's so, so nice. And the quality is amazing. Like, I can't even. So, it actually comes like this. It's pretty long, so if you want to wear it with like jeans or something, it gives you that coverage in the back. So versatile, you can literally put it with so many different things, but with this dress, I decided to tie it like this. It's super breathable, which is really good for the summertime. It's such a summery color, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So for the next outfit, I decided to kind of match the aesthetic of where we're going. We're going to Georgia, and the area is very green, foresty kind of vibes. I had to get a green outfit, of course. <laughs> And so this is the top. It's actually a wrap top. I love the shade of this color. I like that it's balloon sleeve. And to pair with that, I got this long green satin skirt. It's really lightweight. If you didn't want to do a completely like green outfit and you just kind of want it to be a little bit more subtle, you can put it with a black top or a white top. But I just decided to go for like a completely green look. It has a zipper here on the side, which makes it a little bit easier to get into. That being said, it was still kind of tight on my stomach area. But I'm going to put this on and show you guys. So this is how the outfit turned out. I'm absolutely in love. As you can see, the sleeves are humongous, like balloon sleeve kind of look. But I like that. It just gives the outfit a little bit more detail. For the skirt, I think you would even be able to wear it without having to worry about leggings because it's pretty long. Like I said, I'm 5'3". I am wearing leggings at the bottom, but you could see that I don't even really need them because it's full length. I can't get over like the knot in the back. We're still keeping the green theme because when I think of like the place that I'm going to, I just kind of like want to match the vibes. We have this button up top. This one has a different material to the lavender one I showed you guys. I absolutely love the way that this material is. It's like a linen and then it has a kind of detailing. I don't know if you could see that so many different ways that you could style this kind of shirt but i decided to pair it with this zebra satin dress now this one could be a little bit tricky because it has a huge opening in the back and then it has like this kind of like rope detailing other than the opening in the back there is no slits on the bottom i could tell that it's a little bit slightly see-through so you're gonna have to wear i think leggings underneath anyways just to avoid maybe having something show i'm gonna go ahead and put it on that way you guys can actually see how it looks so right off the bat, there's a couple of things about this dress that I'm not loving. Um, the first thing that I'm going to point out is that the dress has these like weird kind of strap. No matter how much I tighten, it just keeps loosening and then the dress keeps going low and it just gives it this very weird look. If you stand to the side, you could just see that it's starting to like point out which I don't like. And also, the straps are so long. Mind you, these are just like halfway and it's literally i don't understand why it's so long you could just cut it i mean it's not that big of a deal this is how the dress looks it's maxi length which is good so we're gonna go ahead and move on to another outfit which is gonna be a little bit controversial i don't think everyone is gonna like this but i do like to play with colors so this is the dress I know it's very like colorful, but honestly, I feel like it would have looked so much better if they didn't put the color purple in here. This is actually a cover up. I've been seeing all over Instagram and TikTok these knit kind of dresses, and I really wanted to get one that was a little bit more affordable. I couldn't find one on Shein, and when I searched, this was the only thing that came up, which was like basically you wear it over your swimsuit so it has no lining it's completely see-through you're gonna have to wear both a top and 
leggings underneath for the coverage um, it is high neck though so i guess that's a little bit of a plus i'm just gonna go ahead and show you how it looks on because i feel like it looks absolutely horrendous being held up like this i'm having very much mixed feelings about this look i paired it with just a random satin button-up blouse that i found in my closet i think it's from h m it has two slits on both sides and they run up pretty high one of my favorite outfits out of this whole haul it's this skirt i absolutely love the material of this comes out like very flowy and feels very very high quality it's like a maxi kind of skirt and it has this floral print and it's just giving very much fairy tale princess vibes and i'm here for it that's my style to pair with that i got this pink cardigan it's cropped and it has the cutest ribbon here in the front i'm gonna pair it with like a white top underneath i'm literally matching my room at this point i absolutely love this outfit so much i have my scarf tucked in the middle because my white top is a little bit see-through so this is what we're working with at this point skirt is so flowy and literally the quality of it i would have thought i bought this from maybe like aritzia at this point you know what i mean <laughs> i wear leggings underneath just because the slip that comes attached to it at the bottom ends around like a little bit above your ankle so i feel like it's a little bit see-through around that area the skirt also doesn't have any slits which is super nice and it comes with the zipper on the side and the next outfit that i'm going to show you guys it's a very similar kind of look to this one with a little bit of different detailings in a different color we have this green and yellowish skirt I like that they added the elastic band here so it makes it easy to put on as well it doesn't have any slits it's very lightweight and with that i'm going to pair this cropped cardigan it's so pretty again like the material is very nice and stretchy the pink one that i'm wearing is ribbed it's completely different texture and then this one has buttons here in the front rather than a bow that just kind of keeps it together this is how the top turned out i did pull up the skirt pretty high though just so that it kind of looks seamless and it almost looks like the cardigan and the skirt are connected because if i have it any lower you can see the white top i paired it with a white tank it's one of those tops that you can wear with a lot of different items so it's very versatile and i just paired it with this mint green uh scarf that i got from Velt collection and it goes perfectly with it i love how the skirt feels like i'm literally wearing nothing and that's a good thing because already you have to kind of layer with the leggings this one is slightly shorter so you could see the leggings from the bottom but i don't mind as long as like you just like coordinate i feel like this outfit would go more with like white leggings if i put black then it would just it would look off the next item is this sunflower top it's meant to be closed in the front and then the sleeves kind of puff out if you could see how that looks right there another very breathable piece it is see-through the top has these pearl detailing it's really cute ruffled look at the ends and I just paired it with some jeans that I found in my closet, like light washed ones. This is how the sleeves look. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. We're going again back to the purple look, like the one that I showed you in the first one. This is a satin maxi skirt. And very silky and nice material. It doesn't have any slits at the bottom and it's one of those ones that you can get away with wearing and not having to worry about leggings. I decided to pair it with this knit cardigan. This is how the cardigan looks. I just love how like slouchy and cozy it kind of looks. The skirt does stick to you. It has a very shiny look to it and I really like the kind of combo of like the darker purple with this skirt. I did want to include some swimsuits, some modest ones for you guys to try out. I know burkinis can be pretty expensive on different websites but Shein does have them pretty affordable and I think they're pretty good quality for the price that they come at. I picked up this one. I really like how bright the colors are. It's this kind of floral print. It has a zipper in the front and it is a one piece. It comes with leggings and it also comes with this skirt to give you the coverage. I think it also comes with a turban, but I'm not going to use that, so... I did also notice that this skirt is a little bit longer than the other skirt that I showed for the burkini in my other haul, which I actually really appreciate just because it gives you a lot more coverage. Putting this on just makes me want to get into a pool like ASAP. It does have like cushions in the chest but i don't really like that i would probably just take them out this is how the skirt comes it gives you the coverage from both the front and the back and it comes with these leggings 
these are the perfect length for me so i picked up another burkini set this one is just like one color so if you're not really into kind of like flashy bright colors like i am then you can pick this one up it's almost a grayish brown color i think it's picking up a little bit more brown on the camera than it actually is it has this detailing here on the sleeve it's like a one piece set it comes with these leggings and then it comes with this skirt that has this string that you wrap around your waist so this one looks slightly different to the one that i'm wearing right now usually i do see these ones that kind of look like you wrapped fabric around your waist to get coverage but this one looks like a skirt like a very flowy one which i thought was cute and different this one looks so cute on i do have a white top underneath here so if you see that it doesn't come with it I just kind of put it for the extra like neck coverage but I really like this ruffled detail here because the burkini itself is very simple so it adds something to it and I absolutely love the skirt I think it's so cute and different to visual ones that I see I like that the leggings are not too short honestly the fit to this one is a lot better than the other one that I was wearing that is all for this haul you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely be filming some more for the summertime, so keep a lookout for that and make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. As well as share this video to your friends and family if you feel like they need some kind of inspiration for summer looks. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!